you've argued that true AI, if it's realized, might pose a danger that exceeds every previous threat from technology, even nuclear weapons. And that if its development is not managed carefully, humanity risks engineering it its own extinction. Has your position changed with that or are you still in the same place with that? Yeah, I mean, in terms of the magnitude of threat, if we're talking about probability, that obviously goes up and down over time. So when uh, scientists first detonated uh, an atomic bomb, the Trinity test, um, there was some concern that maybe the high temperatures that would be generated could ignite the atmosphere and then that would kill all life. Concerned enough that um, a number of studies were commissioned by uh, Robert Oppenheimer, who was the director of the uh, Los Alamos lab. And those calculations that were performed show that this shouldn't happen like in terms of the nuclear physics, like the new atmosphere is not ignitable. Um, and of course, they detonated the bomb and the atmosphere didn't ignite, which is a good thing for us. Um, but at the time, you might say that was a small existential risk that their calculations maybe could have been mistaken and then that would have been the end. And in fact, just a few years later, when scientists were uh, developing the fusion bomb, the, the hydrogen bomb, they again made some calculations as to the yield of this experimental device that they were going to detonate. And they set it off, um, the Castle Bravo uh, detonation. And, and there it turned out there was a mistake in their calculation with the result that the yield was uh, two and a half times bigger than they had anticipated. And so what this meant was that a, a huge blast arose uh, irradiating a Japanese fishing boat where one person died, causing an international accident. You could imagine the Japanese be kind of sensitive to nuclear after what they had gone through. No Several islands yeah. had to be evacuated and it was like a big calamity. A lot of the instruments they had set up to, to, to record the detonation were destroyed by the blast. So it's a good thing that the calculation error was in this second experiment rather than in the a calculation about whether the Trinity test would ignite the atmosphere. But then I think there were maybe larger existential risks during the height of the Cold War, when the arm, the world seemed to be on the brink of nuclear Armageddon on several occasions. Um, although it's not clear that that would have caused human extinction. Um, but now I think uh, if we're looking ahead over the coming decades, the biggest existential risks, and I think that will be unprecedentedly big, will arise from some technological breakthroughs we can be expected to make, a super intelligence being one, and then like synthetic biology being another. And, and there might be some further areas as well that could introduce these new factors into the world where we have no track record of living with this for many years or decades or, or millennia. And we're kind of rolling the dice anew with these brand new powers. So if you like this little short clip from an interview I did, click over here to watch the entire interview. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>